For this I'm going to restore this photo that is scanned from a thin paper that was stuck inside a wooden frame for many years. There are many wave-like moa patterns all over the photo, and there are not many details on the faces or anywhere else. It is going to be yet again another Photoshop to image to image in automatic 11.11 cycle to improve in each step the outcome. However, since new models are released frequently, for this I will be using the new based on the Stability AI's new STXL Turbo model, the Turbo Vision, which requires 5 steps to generate 1024 by 1024 pixel images. This is going to be a chance for me to speak a bit more about the image to image process in the automatic level. level. The first steps in Photoshop are related to cleaning the photo and then expanding it. As I did before, I will use the Neural Filters Photo Restoration to start with the scratch removal and some basic enhancement. To further clean the photo from the scratches, I will use mostly the Remove tool. At the same time, I will dodge and burn areas to improve the clarity and visibility of areas of the photo. Like what I'm doing now on the feet, but as you can see I'm not thorough with this, since the image to image will regenerate details as long as they are somehow distinct. I will adjust the crop at the top by using the default transparent option in order to have some more room to generate more at this top area. To do so, I will select the area that I want with the lasso tool and run the generative fill. I will go on with scratch and spots removal, but mostly at this stage I will focus on cleaning up the edges in order to expand the photo and straighten it up. At the same time I will rotate it a little bit because the people seems a little bit tilted. To clean up the edges I will again use lasso and generative fill, for when the area is not so complex or big, I can use other tools like the patch tool. When ready, I will use the crop tool by changing the fill method to generative expand and expand and rotate the photo in order to fix it. I will use a 3 to 2 aspect ratio for this and export at this stage an image at 1536 pixels height and 1024 pixels wide for the first image to image generation. This image I will use in the IMG to IMG tab of the Automatic 1111 web user interface. After adding the image, I will use the interrogate button in order to produce a text prompt that will help with the generation, and I will improve this text prompt accordingly. Because I'm using the specific Turbo Vision model, I will use the recommended settings for this model. As proposed in the CPT AI page, which are DPM++ SDE sampler, 5 steps and CFG scale of 2. For the resolution, I will use the dimensions of the image as I exported it from the first step in Photoshop. The denoising strength plays a significant role in the generation since it will affect how much the output image will be different from the source. When the denoising strength value is high, then the output varies so much from the input that has almost nothing in common with it, and it is like the output of a text to image generation, taking less and less the source image as a factor that will affect the generation. At the same time, when the denoising strength is low, the similarity between the source image and the output is stronger but that can mean that the defection, scratches, missing parts of an image that needs to be restored may be present in the output image as well. So I usually choose a value around 0.3 as you see in this case. There is a way to automate the process of generating candidate images from varying denoising strength values. All you have to do is select loopback in the script select box at the bottom of the automatic 11.11 interface. Set the number of increment steps and the ceiling of the value. The starting value is the one that you set in the slider. For photo restorations, I usually set the slider to 0.1 denoising strength 
and set four steps of a linear progression with a ceiling of 0.4 in order to get four alternative generations for the zero value up to 0.4. For this example, I will set the slider to zero and choose six steps with a ceiling set at 0.5 to check the results. After this, I press generate and wait for the six images. Then, after checking the results, I will decide which one to use and continue importing it Photoshop for the next steps. After placing the chosen generated image on top of our photo as a layer, I will mask it out and use a low flow brush on the mask to start revealing information from this image. I slowly try to improve the photo and make it ready to export it yet again for another round of generation in the image to image. For photos that are in better condition than this, one generation might be enough. However, for this, the subsequent generations, four in total, help me to recover or more accurately, let's say, generate the hand of the woman on the left, details from the legs, and so on. I will not put the other generation of images in this, since it is a repetition of the previous step. Here is the starting image and the intermediate results after each generation in automatic 11.11 and Photoshop detaching cycles. And the last one is the final restored image.